So you've submitted your application and you haven't heard anything. What is taking so long? We'll tell you coming up. Hi, this is Greg with Tenet Tag. It's Thursday, sunny in Florida. Hope everybody had a great Mother's Day weekend. We are here to give you some helpful information so you have a better rental experience. So if you like what you see, please subscribe below. Now, let's talk about some rental applications. So the question is, how long does it take to process a rental application? 48 to 72 hours is normal if everything goes smooth. The problem is, things don't always go smoothly. Maybe the landlord can't reach your employer to confirm your employment. Maybe they can't reach your current landlord to confirm residency. Maybe your references aren't calling back. Maybe your application is missing some stuff and it's not complete. Maybe they found something in your background that they're really not comfortable with and they're trying to figure out how to talk to you about it. All of these things happen, but the two biggest time killers are confirming your employment and confirming your current residential history. So what do you do? I'm going to give you six tips that may help move this process right along. Tip number one, always include two copies of pay stubs with your application. Also, make sure all of your employment information in terms of your boss, their contact information, contact phone numbers, HR phone numbers are all up to date so they can be reached efficiently. Now, if somebody's going to call your boss and they're going to be out of town, have a backup person that can vouch for you. Tip number two, always have current information, phone number, email for your current landlord. Phone number is really important because people don't respond to email. And also, if at all possible, tell your current landlord that somebody's going to be calling them, that you've submitted an application, so they'll pick up the phone and confirm your residency. For references, tip number three, make sure they know you've submitted an application, make sure their phone numbers are up to date, so they will pick up the phone if somebody calls them. Fourth, make sure all of the information that you need to provide with your application is there. If you have a pet, make sure there's a photo, copies of shot records, licensing information from the city, anything like that so your application is complete, so the landlord is not missing anything. Fifth, communicate, communicate, communicate with the landlord. Call every day to make sure everything is moving along. If there's a glitch, a fax didn't go through to your employer, or a fax to an apartment complex, something like that, you can step in and maybe help the process along. Final tip is to make sure you understand the application processing time in your state. This is a little weird, but every state has tenant and landlord laws, and in those laws it may say how long the landlord has to process an application. Seven days is really common, so you really need to know the particular law for your particular state so you know what you're getting yourself into. So I hope this is helpful. If you know somebody who's going through the application process right now, please share this with them. If you like what you hear, please give us a like. If you have some crazy application process story that you went through, or you have a question or an idea, please leave it in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Now, if you have some other questions about how to fill out an application, we actually have a video of ours linked in the description section below called Rental Application Checklist 2019, which may help you out too. So thanks for watching. We will see you soon.